I love reading this passage and this verse. We need it because there's people out here who want to turn to Ezekiel 16, 49 and say, oh, well, see, God didn't even care about the sodomy in Sodom, right, where the, where the whole term even comes from. Like, well, that wasn't even the big deal anyways. They were just proud and idle, and, you know, like, like that was it. No, that's what led to what they did. But if you read the next verse, because they say, look, see, that was the iniquity of Sodom. They were just proud. Well, no, that's not why God destroyed them, though. Amen. Verse 50 explains, and they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. Amen. They committed abomination. Amen. You know, when a land, man lies with man, he lies with a woman, that's abomination. Amen. And that's what they were doing in the land of Sodom. And look, Genesis chapter 19, Judges chapter 19, this shows you who these really people really are. And it's no surprise that they want to gather around the house of God and, and you know, the next thing they're going to be doing is calling out for one of you guys, right? Bring out Pastor Mejia that we may know him, right? That's how they are. That's how they act. And, you know, if they, the, the more they can become accepted, that's going to be a real threat. I mean, that's a reality. We need to not let it get to that point. We need to wake people up with the truth, with the word of God, and help people understand what they're really about. Flip over to Philippians chapter 3. While you're going to Philippians 3, I'm just going to read from Jude verse 7 for you. Jude 7 reads, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Having a lot of prosperity allows you to get lifted up and proud. Having a lot of prosperity also will buy you a lot of time so you can end up being idle. Having a lot of empty time and idleness can lead you into these sins, and not just into sins, but to where you're giving yourself over to those sins. That's what Sodom did. The Bible says they gave themselves over to fornication. And when, and when that's not enough, because just like with all sin, if you continue down whatever sinful path you're on, it's going to end up not giving you the same satisfaction that that sin was going to give you until you go deeper and farther and more and more and more. And it's a deadly cycle that's going to lead you. And again, it could be any sin. Okay, whatever your sin is, if you just enjoy it and want to just engulf yourself in that sin and give yourself over that sin, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And especially with these, you know, with these sexual sins, you've got these, these sodomites who are giving themselves over. It started with the fornication to the point to where that wasn't enough. Then they have to start going after strange flesh. And it just became perverted. But they had a bunch of free time and a bunch of wealth. So what else are they going to do? 